some mindset and motivation today, all right? I am not a mental health coach. I'm going to give you that right off the bat, but boy, do I like talking about it because we need that more than ever right now. In my last 10 years, we talked about this last week, in my last 10 years, I've realized the importance of understanding human behavior and how we make these changes, and that is with with this thing that I call physical therapy, uh, we call physical therapy, but now it's not that. It's it's you know transformation. Um, there's got to be a re- there's got to be a point of oh responsibility on the person and helping them helping them understand kind of how to make a change, right? And a lot of that comes from human behavior. So last week we talked about uncertainty or certainty in the uncertainty, right? There's a lot of stuff out there, and it's it's a tough it's a tough time right now. Uh, and so I'm going to just give you a little way again to to switch your thinking. Uh, maybe maybe think a little bit more about why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Why are you feeling anxious? Why are you struggling to make a change? Why are you struggling to get out of pain? Why are you taking something from the news or from social media and letting it you know essentially ruin your life, so to speak? We have a lot of people out there struggling mentally and physically right now. I can't address the physical if I can't address the mental, and I can't address the mental if we can't address the physical. So this stuff goes hand in hand, all right? Um, So let's talk a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about the circle of concern versus the circle of influence. So I'm going to draw a little diagram here on this fancy, fancy paper. I don't know where I got this paper from, but free, free marketing for free advertising for uh, Lafarge, I believe I'm saying that right. So we we have your uh, first of all we have your circle of concern and I'm taking this from a book um, by Stephen Covey the seven habits book uh, so you can look that up and and I'm not stealing or I'm not you know making this up I always say everything that we have is just something that somebody else said and we're trying to take it and, and put it into our own life circle of concern we all have our circle of concern right so the circle of concern are things that obviously directly affect us. Hopefully you can see that there. Circle of concern, things that directly affect us. And um, some of these are in our control, some of these are out of our control, right? So you have to put everything in the circle of concern. We have um, you know, things that hurt our health, things that hurt our business, things that hurt our family things that help all of these things as well, not to go right to the negative. Um, but we have all of those things in our circle of concern, right? Now, some of things we cannot control, right? And some things we can. If you have things like the circle of concern that is our health, and we do things like watch the news or listen to social media, and we see people arguing about who's right or wrong, um, the problem with that is it's out of our control, but it affects us, and it actually goes into our circle of concern. So when we do things like that, and we expose ourselves to things that obviously affect us, but we don't have any control over, this circle grows, right? And that circle gets bigger and bigger. So one way to create anxiety and increased issues in your life is to make that circle of concern very, very large by focusing on things that we can't control, all right? Now, the other circle that we all have, and this is the beauty of life, is we all have a circle of influence. So the goal to reduce stress and anxiety, to get yourself out of pain, to get yourself out of a crummy situation, to make sure you're living each day energized and and to the fullest, you want to make your circle of influence, and I'll do that on a second page, You want to do, I can't believe people hopped off the call when I got into my woo-woo mental health stuff. Unbelievable. Anyways, I don't blame you, but um, like I said, I didn't didn't invent this stuff. Uh, Somebody else did, and it has a lot of merit, so I don't uh, don't recommend hopping off at this time of these calls. Um, Just be open-minded, right? Just be open-minded and observe. So if your circle of influence is all the things now that you can control, right? It's you moving. It's you being healthy. It's you uh, asking for help from somebody when you have pain or you have a problem. It's you taking advantage of. Um, it's you taking advantage of a free discovery session when somebody's offering it with pure intent. Um, 
It's you eating the right things. It's you uh, putting yourself first and sleeping. It's you reading a book to uh, gain knowledge, right? It's you spending time with your kids without looking at your phone. It's all these things. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm perfect at all this. I'm saying it because it's, it's the truth, right? If you can make that circle take up as much as possible of your circle of concern, you will be a much happier individual, right? So what is this? The inside circle is a circle of influence. It's the things you can control. It's the things you can do right. It's the things that you have the choice in your life. And the circle of concern is the outside circle. A small difference between those two circles is going to make you a happier, healthier, uh, better version of yourself. If that circle of concern on the outside gets bigger because you let external things that are out of uh, your control frequently into your life and you don't focus on the now, and you don't cover your circle of influence, then that's when you're gonna have issues. So the two ways to give yourself more anxiety, lose control of your situations, is to allow your circle of concern to grow um, by, by feeding, feeding into this stuff that's not, you know, not in your control. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bad mouth anything. I'm not gonna say anything negative. You know, yes, I already did, but I'm done. Um, so letting that stuff grow that's outside of your control and, and feeding into it is one way to make yourself miserable because your circle of concern will grow far, far larger than your circle of influence. Or really, really hone in on the stuff that you can control, right? And one of the things that I'm going to say right now is taking advantage of what we offer. If you feel like um, you're struggling physically, if you feel like you have back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, we have so many ways to help you without having to break the bank, without having to... Um, get an MRI without having to go down the surgical route. Focus on that, right? So that's a pitch for us. But more importantly, focus on this and other aspects of your life. Sleep better. You know, start getting up early and moving in the morning. Um, focus on things that make you happy. Only spend time with people that make you happy. Uh, you know, all these things. Easier said than done, again. But start to change your frame of reference. If you slowly have gotten into the point where you're feeling reactive to things, you're feeling negative about things. One of the ways that you can come back in your life and say, why is this? Look at these two circles and really, really gauge. Are you letting too much of what you can't control in? And are you focusing enough on what you can control to enlarge that circle of influence? Stephen Covey, I believe, Seven Habits book. Um, great, great for somebody like me that's got family and trying to run a business, but great for any of us. Um, there's the whole first section of it is all about personal, um, you know, building your personal uh, independence and, and um, you know, becoming a better version of yourself, basically. And again, I would not talk about anything if I didn't believe in it or try to use it to some degree. Um, most of the things I'll tell you right now, I'm just stealing from other people and trying to rehash them so that they get more well known. If they resonate with me, I hope and pray that they resonate with somebody else out there. So.